Hey guys, it's been a minute since we've done a price update on ICF compared to framing. The last one we did was back in, I think, July. So thought we'd do one real quick before Christmas gets here, kind of a winter time analysis. One of the reasons I haven't only done a, about three of them this year is because things have settled down and they're a little more stable. But ICF has come down just a little bit, at least in our um, supply chain. But um, and lumber has been pretty stable. We'll get into it. But before I do, I want to tell you guys about some stuff that I'm super antsy to start to tell you guys about. And I've been holding back a little bit, but we have a lot of cool stuff coming out in the new year in regards to ICF pools. You can still reach out at support at ICFguru.com in the meantime, but we have already kind of rolled out several new features that are going to be public in the new year. Um, the site's getting a complete revamp and I'm going to get into that with a full tour as soon as it's live. I'm being told that is right around the first of the year. So fingers crossed that that holds because I've seen some images of everything and it is first class. I can't wait for you guys to see that. Um, the kits are getting even better. The kits um, that we have sold in the past, we've tried to, um, like I said, we've had QR codes to show you some of the bespoke um, plumbing parts, the the one-off stuff that you wouldn't have seen before unless you built pools. But we are going to have a full um, set of directions in paper. In addition to that, um, even more QR codes, all that. But we're adding several features that no one else in the industry has ever thought to do, much less implement. Um, things you don't have to do, but things you can do um, if you need it. A lot of people I've found, uh, I try to listen to people's feedback and stuff. And the liner measurements really make a lot of you guys nervous. Um, not a lot to it, but I get it. It's, you know, that the, the liner is several thousand dollars and you don't want to mess that up. So for, for a small fee for how much they cost, we have a guy that we've teamed up with that has um, very expensive 3D scanners that, we, that are small enough that we can send you and uh, guide you through setting it in the middle of your pool and scanning your pool. And we will have such an accurate diagram of the inside of your pool, we will order the liner for you. Um, and so that is going to be a super cool thing. Um, if a lot of people just really want help, you can see one that um, Eric, one of the guys that I'll be introducing you guys to, we brought two new guys on board to help with this stuff. And he does like full designs, like he stacked blocks and made a pool in uh, Oakland, California that we're consulting on to not have any bastard joints or anything like that. So... Um, me and him work on stuff like that every night and we're gonna have a full calendar of times where I can be available to call zoom um, go to sites to visit every level of service depending on your needs so all that's gonna get so much easier I can't even begin to tell you um, so like I said stay tuned to that if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe so you'll know because I will have a full video when that comes out the only other couple things in the new year, um, we have a couple really cool collaborations we are planning to do where I'm going to go out on sites. Um, some guys that have been to my training and some guys um, that just can't get to my training, so I'm going to them. And uh, they, they got YouTube channels as well, and we're going to do um, just builds on ICF houses, ICF pools. Really, really cool stuff. Um, we're going get, to get to more of you. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, and that's coming probably February, March. And then World of Concrete is in January. If you guys remember last year, we won um, Specialty Project of the Year with the, uh, the pool. I'll, I'll link the video to that pool. Um, we've got two pools this year that are winning awards. So we don't know what the awards are yet, but uh, we will be there. And I'll be showing you anything that I think is cool from World of Concrete. Um, but yeah, so guys, there's so much going on that I want to talk about, but I can't quite yet. But it's coming. It's coming real soon. So just be, be looking for that. Like I said, guys, the kits are super cool now. I mean, you can already reach out. I just can't kind of go worldwide yet. <clears throat> anyway, you guys know the way we do this. Um, we take a four foot by eight foot piece of ICF, which would be basically six blocks stacked up straight um, with Fox blocks, that is, or build block or any of the other 16 inch blocks. And you'd have a four foot by eight foot panel. And then we build a four foot by eight foot framed wall out of two by sixes, zip board, foam insulation. That's the only way you can even approach the insulation value, R value of ICF um, with framing. 
without doing anything even crazier that would cost more. Um, one thing I always try to address now so you guys don't hammer me is I will leave rebar out of ICF. I do that because I also leave the Simpson strapping out of the framed wall. I do that because the, the Simpson strapping requirements are all over the board. I've told it a bunch of times in Missouri where I live, a full house will be under $500 in strapping. In Dolphin Island, Alabama, where I built a couple houses, um, 8,000 bucks a house. So the strapping's all over the board. Both of those locations, an ICF house would have had exactly the same rebar. So it's not really fair to compare. You should probably do your due diligence on that. A normal 2,500 square foot house is gonna have a couple thousand dollars in rebar. It could have 500 in strapping, you could have 8,000 in strapping. It really depends on where you live and that is gonna be the determining factor. But without further ado, we'll get into our, um, our numbers. With a quality frame wood wall, we started doing these in the spring of 21. And if you guys remember, the lumber has been on a massive roller coaster. COVID, uh, collusion, whatever you want to call it, lumber um, really seemed to be taking advantage of a lot of, you know, sucky market issues. Um, Pre-COVID, the lumber futures were around 350 for a thousand random board feet of lumber. Uh, the high point in probably like March, May, March to May of 22, it was at 1720, maybe 21. That was probably March of 21. 1720, this, this spring, it was at 722. It actually dipped below 400 for a little while. And by the time I did the summer analysis, it was, a, it was up to 520. Right now it's at 548. So you can see, I mean, that's effectively a straight line. It's up a little bit, and that's through March of next year. <clears throat> Zip, this time, um, it, it's, it's at $34. Zip board is $34 a sheet. I always get it priced at the same place. I'm not saying you couldn't get it for 30 bucks at a lumber yard in bulk, but $34 a sheet. Um, the high point back then was $74. I couldn't even stomach buying a single sheet of it when it was that much. Um, and this summer it was exactly $34. So it's exactly on par with where it was this summer. So two by sixes are up a little bit. They're at $6.34 per stud and you need five of them. That was $15 a piece at the high point. And this summer it was all, all the way down to $4.80. Zip tape is exactly the same as it was, $32 a roll. It did hit $40 back when, but 32 is actually pretty high for traditionally. It was in the low to mid 20s prior to COVID. Um, spray foam, spray foam is still exactly uh, where it has been I, I, as far as I know. I checked with one guy who I trust, who's very knowledgeable in the industry, uh, Jerry. He says it's still right around $2.85 a square foot. Um, so that's gonna take about $91 of foam to spray a four by eight piece. So the total for the wall, stick framed, taped, everything right now is $168 for that four by eight sheet. Um, it was 161 this summer, really the only difference obviously is the studs are up a couple bucks. Um, it was two, $240 at the high point when studs were 15 and freaking OSB was $74, it was gross. Um, and at that point, so was ICF, it was almost exactly the same, it was like 240. Um, ICF blocks did drop a little bit um, at, at the supply house where I get mine. Um, so right now we can get them for around $4.60 in bulk um, at my place. And so $4.60 a square foot um, with concrete figured at $150 per yard. Um, I know nationally it's anywhere from upper 130s to 200. We're paying around 150 here, so I'm factoring that in. You can factor a little bit more if, if need be. But um, a four by eight thing of ICF will take about 0.59 yards. So when you multiply that out by, you know, you know, the 32 square feet of wall, we're at 218 right now. So 218 compared to 168, you're at about $50 difference. Um, that's better than it was six months ago. It's worse than it was a year ago because a year ago we were almost exactly even. But 
again, guys, if that's all the price difference and keeping in mind that everything else throughout the house should be exactly the same cost, there should be no upcharge from an electrician. There should be nothing from a plumber. If it's planned out, there's less coring because they can put their penetrations in prior. That doesn't take very long to amortize out the value in energy savings, in um, storm resistance. It is a no brainer at that difference, in my opinion. So, you know, guys, everything's pretty stable. The only thing that sucks right now in the market is interest rates suck. They do appear to be looking like they're going to come down a little bit in the spring. Right now, if you're building and you're going to be getting a 30 year or even a 15 year note in the eights, I think you're building hoping that it's going to come down in the next couple of years and you're just trying to get it built. Um, cost of new homes has not come down really much at all around us. I know there are markets that have seen upwards of 20% drops. Um, I'm not, I, I don't feel equipped to advise on buy, sell, whatever at the moment. However, it doesn't seem to be a bad time to build. I, I had been pretty nervous about things, but I'm pretty convinced there's still a good shortage of new homes. Um, so even at these interest rates, they are good houses are still selling. Um, and so right now everything's pretty stable and more importantly, the supply chain's good. You can usually have ICF in delivered to your job within a couple weeks right now. You know, that got, that was over eight weeks during COVID, um, lumber, they were out of stuff all the time. So, um, really, even though things kind of suck in some ways right now with interest and unknowns and the economy kind of teetering, it feels so good to just be able to get materials. You know, we, we don't worry about anything with pool supplies right now. You know, we always worry about what's next, but right now everything's incredibly stable. So yeah, guys, um, that's going to do it for this, this price update. Everything's pretty stable, but I wanted to kind of update it for the winter and really just tell you guys about all the cool stuff that's going to be hitting in the next eight weeks. I'm going to try to do two videos a week. I'm going to try um, just to try to get more content kind of live and everything up. Like I said, lots more design work. If you guys are worried about your pool, want it designed, Eric and a couple of our uh, in-house design team are ready to help you with that. Um, and we can supply you with full build kits. Every single thing you need down to we uh, one of our new products. I, again, I'm going to get into a lot more of this. Floor cleaning systems, full, uh, full diagrams on how to plumb those if you want to go a little fancier than traditional. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get out of here. I'm um, going to go ahead to Breckenridge for a couple days, see what they're doing, and uh, I will post another video when I get back. Have a good weekend, guys.